I'm Peter Barukowitz for Our Wedding Officiant, New York City. Welcome to the Central Park Wedding Tour. And this is Bethesda Terrace. If it looks familiar, that's because they've been filming movies here for as long as they've been making movies. In fact, in 1908, Bethesda Terrace was the set for a silent film version of Romeo and Juliet. Along with Times Square, the Brooklyn Bridge, the skating rink at Rockefeller Center, and the Statue of Liberty, Bethesda Terrace is one of New York City's most globally recognized iconic public spaces. The opportunities for wedding photographs here are endless. If you enjoy the hustle and bustle of New York and want your wedding to be part of it all, this is a great location. There will be a lot of people here. And maybe you and your guests can catch a musician or a street performer after the ceremony. Bethesda Terrace can accommodate a very large group of guests. A huge benefit of having your Central Park wedding here is that you don't have to make alternate plans in case of wet weather. Everyone can just move inside the arcade. It's impossible to be here and not marvel at the gorgeous tiled ceiling. The other bonus, this is the only wedding location in the park with on-site public restrooms. Enough said. Oh, they're closed in the winter. You'll need to have a permit for your wedding at Bethesda Terrace if you have 20 or more invited guests. You can't block off the area. The permit only ensures that there will not be another permanent event at the same time. The fountain is located directly in the middle of the park when you enter on 72nd Street, from the east side at 5th Avenue or from Central Park West. It's a few long blocks, so keep that in mind if some of your guests are older or have mobility issues. I'm Peter Barukowitz for Our Wedding Officiant NYC. I hope you've enjoyed the Central Park Wedding Tour. See you in the park.